The XQ Max Yorty May We See Darts review begins right now. Here we go. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Worldwide here. We got a pretty good video for you today. It's something a little bit different because I don't get a chance to review this company's darts all that often, but hey, here we go. In today's video, I'll be reviewing the XQ Max Yordi Moisi darts. I'm probably butchering that, but I did watch a few YouTube videos and I don't know that Yordi Moisi anyway. So that's the best I can do. But um, I'm going to hit you with the bad news right out of the gate. I bought these at Darts Corner probably a couple months ago when they were on clearance. I have no idea where you can buy them nowadays. I don't even know if they're made any longer. However, that doesn't deter from the fact that I picked these up for $31 on clearance. Again, I have no idea where you can get them now, but I will throw you a bone. Right now on Darts Corner, they do have the XQ Max MVG Originals for like 31 bucks. Hell of a deal there. So you might want to check those out pretty much like the Winmore Exact Darts or his old Master Darts, his old, um, what's the other ones? Oh, the old McKick Darts as well. So I would highly recommend that. I think that's a heck of a deal for $31. So at least you get yourself a set of XQ Max darts. But hey, let's see how this video turns out. We'll do the same thing we always do, go in the next clip. We'll take a close up look, show you the packaging. After that, stats and dimensions, grip level. Then I'll get them on the board. I'll throw them for a bit. And I'll let you know what I think of these darts. Here we go. Okay guys, so it's been a hot minute since I've reviewed a set of XQ Max darts. I actually had a look on the channel it was like August of 2021 when I reviewed the XQ Max MVG Originals. But um, yeah, we're back again today with the Yordi Magic Moisi. I don't know. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on how to pronounce that. I think that's right. Moisi? Moise? I'm not sure. I'm sure one of you guys will let me know down in the comment section, though. But yeah, pretty typical cardboard hand case. Oh, look at this, though. It's like a novel reading all that on the back end, though. Anyway, there's the box. You guys came to see the darts. We know what you want to see here if we can get some focus, but you know what? First glance here, you think it's a busy looking set of darts. However, on closer look, it's just basically a multi-ring dart with this horizontal milling. I mean, basically it's like an Eric Bristow dart, right? Eric Bristow, Rob Cross, Dave Chisnell, Glenn Durant all have a very similar dart with a smooth section right towards the back end. They do come with a set of really long nylon stems, 48.5 millimeters, not including the threads. And then, of course, you have your Yordi Magic Moes standard size flights on the back end. So that's the darts. Let's get a little bit closer look, and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions you need to know. Here we go. Okay, there you go. Nice close-up look at the darts there. And you know what? That's a great-looking set of darts for a basic set of darts. It's a little bit different. It's not your typical average multi-ring dart. So, um, yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. So we're going to start up front. They come with the dreaded silver points. These are on the short side, too. I don't know the total length, but they only stick out of the barrel. 26 millimeters in total. Now, the barrel's 90% tungsten. The barrel length coming in rather long at 54.5 millimeters. And the barrel width kind of on the thin side for a 23-gram barrel, 6.3 millimeters wide. Now, this is interesting. I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth. These are actually drilled out kind of deep at 18.3 millimeters deep. So if you look at it in a different way, one third of this entire barrel is hollow. So that's going to make this straight barrel set of darts ever so slightly front loaded, which ah, that's kind of cool in my opinion. But yeah, rather deep in the back end, 18.3 millimeters deep. Now I put these on the scale. They're advertised obviously as 23 grams. Match weighting, excellent here. So that was that's always nice to see. The lightest barrel, 23.01, 23.03, and 23.04. So yeah, only three one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. Excellent quality control from XQ Max, but let's get a little bit closer look and I'll tell you about this grip. Okay, guys, this was kind of interesting. I hadn't noticed this before, but I'm looking through the macro lens on my camera in the milling on these barrels. The, the horizontal milling doesn't appear too good. It's pretty sloppy, right? Although, to be honest, you, you can't feel it. It doesn't feel choppy or scratchy or sharp or anything like that, but... Yeah, that milling is not too good, kind of sloppy, but the, the wide multi-rings look pretty good. The edges, yeah, the milling on the other stuff, not too good. Let me see if that's all barrels. Oh, yeah, that one's not too good either. Huh, 
Never noticed it until I put them on the macro lens. How about this third one? Oh, this one's a little better. Still kind of rough though, but all right. Anyway, regardless, I mean, honestly, trust me, you can't feel it. Wow, but yeah, that machining, not too good. All right, well, getting past that, got the wide multi rings. Of course, we got this horizontal, sloppy horizontal milling. We've got the smooth section, and you know what? We got the XQ Max logo and the Yordi Magic Moisi logo. So always nice to see two logos on the barrel. Always a fan of that. In the back, we've got the three fatter multi rings. And that's about it. Kind of a flat nose cone up front. And yep, a little bit of a lip right there. Those could do with some specialty points. And I think that would eliminate this kind of blunt front end. That would help preserve your molded flights if you happen to use them. So that's it for, the, oh, I suppose you want a grip level too, by the way. I completely forgot. I was so focused on looking at this messy horizontal milling. Anyway, yeah, the grip level. Yeah, not as grippy as they look. I'd probably say right in the middle, maybe, or kind of low middle, 2.5 on a scale of 1 to 5. They're more grippy if you spin it, but going up and down, not that grippy. But if you spin them in your fingers, yeah, that's that's where the grip comes in, the horizontal, the sloppy horizontal milling. So there's the barrel, guys. Let's get them on the board. I've been rambling on long enough. I'm going to throw them completely stock. So let's get them on the board, see how they fly. Okay, well, this should be interesting. I just had a quick warm up. I feel really good today. However, I have a spasm in my thumb. I don't know what that's all about. It doesn't hurt or anything, but just uh, it makes it awkward or makes it difficult to throw darts. But we'll see how this goes. Hey, I got to finish up this review. So it is what it is today. First impression with these darts, I took them out of the box, just threw them for a bit warming up. 23 grams, although they feel Kind of heavy to me for some reason. I don't know why, they just... You would think with a heavier dart, with the um, with a long barrel where the weight's spread out over the distance, you'd think it would feel lighter, but these things feel like I'm throwing tanks. Hey, 66. We got one in there. Oh, and stick around. To the very, very end of this video, you're going to see what I think of silver points. I thought that was kind of funny. But yeah, the, the grip's fine on these. They don't, they just feel like an aggressive multi-ring dart, that's all. And not really all that aggressive, to be honest with you. Front grippers, middle grippers are good. Rear grippers, I don't know. They've got that smooth section in the back, so... Yeah, I don't see these working well for rear grippers, especially considering this barrel is 54 and a half millimeters long. So maybe not the best for rear grippers. Where is it? Third dart saber. We'll take it. Especially today. So normally I prefer a longer barrel, or I don't have any issues throwing a longer barrel, but... I know a lot of you guys out there do. I don't think too many people are going to be going for a 54 and a half millimeter long barrel. However, I mean, you know, if you find something on sale like I did with these darts, go for it. You know, you can't really go wrong spending 30 bucks on a set of pro player, 90% tungsten pro player darts. So I just love getting deals. That allows me to try just to try different darts all the time. So it's always nice. I have another set of bargain darts coming soon for the next review. I'll probably do that Friday. They are, might as well share with you right now, the Loxley Muffin Man darts. I also got those on sale at Darts Corner a couple months ago. So that's probably Friday's video. Those things were $28. So, um, yeah, some amazing deals. Just check out the clearance sections all the time. Um, I just ordered today over on the Red Dragon website. They had some beautiful um, Winmore jerseys, long sleeve, for like 19 pounds. Amazing shirt. I think the regular price on those, somewhere in the vicinity of 50 pounds. So, always love a deal, guys. Ooh. Uh-oh, a five and a trouble one and a 20. Yeah, I don't know. They actually throw well enough. I mean, I'm not 
Might as well keep going, right? But yeah, they, they throw well enough. I have no issues with these darts at all. They, they feel kind of nice. They're just different, you know? Ooh, right there, my thumb twitched. And the dart went straight. All right, yeah, we'll end on that one. There's a trouble 20 last dart. Right in the middle of the bed. So that's it. I don't know. That was like six or seven throws. Kind of took my time, rambled on a bit. But hey, it is what it is. Decent set of darts. Even more decent for the price that I paid. Again, like 31 US dollars. I pay $31 for a pro player 90% tungsten dart all day long just to try it out. And if you don't like it, sell it, give it to a friend, whatever. You're not out that much money. But I like them. They're decent. I don't think they're going to work well for most players. But we'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next clip. We'll do the 180. Beautiful 180, by the way. I give these things kind of a fake rating since they're not in stock anymore. And uh, oh, stick around to the very, very last few seconds of the video. Kind of funny. Here we go. That was a beautiful right to left, right, center, left. Nice, 180. Wow. How do you beat that? We're gonna take that one, guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the XQ Max Yordi Moisi darts. And again, I apologize. I think they're out of stock, no longer made. I have no idea, but I checked darts corner. I also checked Dart Shopper. I didn't see him anywhere. Again, reminder, as a consolation prize, they do have the XQ Max MVG Originals for like 31 bucks. That's a heck of a deal there. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you did. And now, yeah, should I even give these things a rating or a recommendation? I guess we'll pretend. So, check this out. 54 and a half millimeters long. That's going to be way too long, I think, for the vast majority of players. However, you got to factor in, I only paid like $30, $31 for these on clearance. So when you factor in that price, it probably bumped the score up a little bit. Like, honestly, I think I'd probably give these about a 6.5 out of 10. It's a great dart to throw. It's very narrow for 23 grams. But again, that length is just, yeah, that's a long barrel, isn't it? So I really wouldn't give it a high score. It would get a, if it was a re regular price dart, if it was in the $50, $60 range, for pro player dart, it would get a horrendous score. So regular price, they probably, the score would probably be down around a 4.5, but all things considered, since I got these for 31 bucks, I think that's a halfway decent score. Well, anyway, guys, I guess that's it. Is that recording? Yeah. We'll catch you on the next video. Later. Let's get out of here. Silver points, they suck.